Two weeks ago, we started renovating the chateau dining room. It's been a dumping ground up until this point. We had to empty it, Philip started on the electrics, and we started discussing the colour choice, which is still a point of contention. We have less than one month to get this room finished. Today, I'm gonna start sanding. If you skip on the prep, you're gonna pay for it in the finish, and it's not gonna look as good. Luckily, I have this bad boy. And it comes with this vacuum um, attachment so that all of the dust will be sucked up. That is a big help. The only problem is it is very heavy. And when you're doing ceilings like this, you kind of get a really sore neck. These are actually my tools for upholstery, but they come in really handy when you have nails, old things that are nailed into the wall um, and covered with paint, and you can just chip away with it and then lift the nail up with this. I know the church bell is ringing and you're walking. Yeah. That means you should make a pause. Yep. It means you need to make lunch. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get rid of all the little bits of wallpaper that are stuck around the edge and all the dried paint. And I'm giving it a good wash. And it's quite satisfying, actually. Originally, I was just doing it because I want to have a nice clean surface to, if I, I'm going to paint over this, I'm going to wallpaper it first. So I don't want it to be all uneven. But actually, the more I'm cleaning it up, the more I keep thinking maybe we should keep it. Oh no, you change no. your mind again. I know, I can't decide, it's really difficult. I'm just thinking about the person that made this. I reckon it was probably done in 1827, so it's basically almost 200 years. 200 years ago, that's crazy, no? To imagine somebody who is equally obsessed about green as me. And look outside, the beautiful light looks almost like in summer. Except we're almost winter, Philip. And I have the less gratifying job of putting cables into the wall. But it has to be done. That's, that's a problem of my trade. When I do a good job, it means nobody sees that I've even been there. At this point we were interrupted by the chimney sweep, called in to find out whether we could revive our fireplace. Normally there are always birds here, so it's already a good news. Hello, Philip. Hello. After a close inspection, we came to the conclusion that the shape of the fireplace is far from ideal, so we're going to line this chimney, like we did in the other rooms, and install a log burner. What I just learned, apart from not sticking my head underneath the chimney without a hat, is that we need to clean this chimney because it's full of bistro, byproduct of fumes. And in order to get rid of this, he has a machine with a chain and a drill, and he lifts the, the machine up, and this chain will clean everything, and then it will be clean. And probably we also have to change the little roof on top of the chimney because the opening is too small. There's a newspaper. If we find a date, we know when the last repair has been done on this chimney. 2010, not that long ago. All right. It's three years now since we moved to the chateau. And even though we made the move to have a more healthy, slower lifestyle than we had in the city. It didn't turn out quite as I had imagined. Fatigue and physical stress are an issue, and as much as we've tried with all our plans and projects, slowing down is just not a reality. But recently, I felt some improvements in my overall well-being thanks to AG1, a nutritional drink by Athletic Greens, which also happens to be this week's ad. AG1 is so much more than a greens powder. It has 75 ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. 
I admit that I used to drink way too much coffee to wake me up in the morning and keep me going through the day. AG1 comes with a natural form of B12 biotin, bioavailable folate, things known to support your energy levels, but also magnesium, which in addition helps with muscle recovery, very helpful after a day of physical renovating or if I've been for a run. It's super easy to integrate into your daily habits. I drink it before breakfast every morning, I just need to add one scoop with water, shake it and it's ready to drink. And I don't feel the need for the same amount of coffee. For something as nutritional and good for you as this, it tastes really good. And guys, look at the colour. I mean, it's like it was made for me. Team Green, who's with me? You also get these handy travel packets so you can keep up your routine when you're travelling. So go to athleticgreens.com forward slash chateau to get started on your order. Because you come from us, they will give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. preparing some water. Just having a go at me before, weren't you? Because you couldn't find any nice clean tools. Well, I clean them now. Because <laughs> I have a really bad habit of not cleaning those spatulas. Sorry. That's all right. Am I forgiven? You're forgiven. I also have one or two bad habits, even though you haven't discovered them yet. Not sure about that. What's Philip doing? What's he doing? So the tricky thing is to cut this. This pipe, which is the f used to be the heating pipe, there was a radiator down there. Very heavy, very thick, without cutting the cable that comes out here. Yeah! Hey. Yeah! <laughs> and there's no water coming out. Amazing. Which is also very good. Oh, I'm happy. That was easier than I thought. What are you doing? And look at the cable, still sitting one piece. Yeah, I was holding it up out yeah. of place whilst I was filming. So it's all thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, zig. <laughs> Finger. de protection contre les choses qui ah, tombent. Parce que si le fil il tombe dessus Non, c'est ah. des outils. Imaginons qu'il y a un artisan qui laisse tomber ses outils. Toi, un artisan euh, pas très talentueux qui laisse tomber quelque chose de lourd sur mes pieds. Ah. The issue here is that we need to come with the cables from this side of the door to the other side of the door. There's no electricity on this side. The electrical cable come from here, so they need to come here, 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 and here, somehow across the door. And the only way to go is either through the wood here inside the door frame the door frame or Benoit's suggestion to create a channel inside this molding and put a cable there does that mean taking off the molding that means taking off the molding or drilling a hole several holes for us to be able to catch the cable and somehow you know it's no easy solution on fait un trou ici on fait un trou idem de l'autre côté ensuite ça nous in other words, instead of making a hole in the wooden frame to pass the cable, mm -hmm. we make a hole in the wall and from there we stick the cable in, let it come down here and down here and catch it. Sounds easy. This good idea was to turn a carpentry problem into an electrician's problem. Which it probably is. I know the correct one. Oui, complètement. C'est son problème à lui? Oui. Oh. 
Ok. Et je réfléchis pour toi en plus. <rire> c'est toujours chez toi qui est tes clients bon, les outils C'est tes clients qui les ont normalement Ou c'est juste avec moi j'ai ma caisse dans la voiture. Ah, parce que je, je pense vais... que tu m'as disais l'arto et ciseaux. Moi, j'utilise des vrais outils. Ah. Attends, moi, les trucs de chez Ikea et compagnie, ça m'intéresse pas. Ah. Ikea, ça Ça, c'est l'autre gamme. C'est l'autre gamme. Pétasse oh. Et on se calme, les loulous Ça, madame on a 600 mètres carrés, mais il est de faire ça à côté de toi. Ok, I, uh, Benoît's idea is not bad. I think that's the way to go. Uh, so I'm gonna drill the hose now. Guys, can you take it outside? Come on. It sounds like a good idea, but we still need to get the cable from here and get it out on the other side. I have no idea how. I think it will go if you, the wire is stiff enough that if you just push it, it will go through. Yeah. Specialist tools. Only professionals have this kind of tools. C'est quoi le pied de biche? A bambi leg. Yeah, what is a bambi leg? Crowbar. <gasps> Bah, tu sais, si tu, si tu m'arraches tout le plâtre, j'aurais pu faire aussi le... le ah, ça y est, voilà. Euh, ça y est. Ici, moi, je fais du travail propre avec peu de dégâts. Regarde. Comment faire ça de là-bas Je pense que ce n'est pas stiff assez, c'est le problème. J'ai une idée, Anna. Peux-tu me donner un thread a sewing thread. Yeah. Not many people know that I was a... Boy Scout? No, mountain bike pro. So what have you done? Can you just show me? So I attached a thin thread here. I can't really see the thread. Yeah, it's really it's tiny. You can't see yeah. this thing. Okay. A thin thread here. If you have to run cables, brake cables, mm -hmm. in the frame of a bike, Use this trick. You will see. Let's see if it works before we. Uh... I'm still not quite understanding how the thread helps. Wait, let's see. Ça a fini, hein? No. Attention. Ouh Ah, ça c'est bien ça. Ah, attends, ah, il bouge pas, bouge pas. Ah. Allez, je regarde comment. Ah Ah Tu trembles Oh my goodness, look at that Look at that <rire> Wow Et attention, on n'a pas gagné, hein. ça, ça peut toujours casser. Ça y est Non, j'ai une idée. On laisse ça, ne bouge pas, et on va attacher autre chose. Là, c'est coincé We are so close and yet so far. I can see his stick and he can maybe see my stick. That sounds really weird. Et pénètre entre les deux briques. C'est magnifique. Je vois l'ouverture. J'ai l'impression que je, je, je suis surtourné, quoi. Ah oui, ah oui. Bonjour. Oh là là. Dis bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, dis bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. We cleaned here. And look what I found. I think this, this is a mouse. Well, it was a mouse.
I know it looks like not much happened this week, but that's not true. All the cables are hidden, and that, I think, was one of the most difficult tasks. I couldn't have done it without Benoit. He's coming back tomorrow to work on his cutting boards, but that's going to be a story for the next video. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and check out our Patreon.